Hello everyone, this is Wesley from TechBeLike and in this video we would like to show you the software that accompanies the Logitech G915, which is a wireless gaming keyboard with RGB and very low switches. We went to Logitech.com and downloaded G-Hub, their software package. The download speeds were great and the package was not too large, so it was more or less plug and play. We were warmly welcomed with some of these screens, but that's only the beginning. In this video, we'll go over most of the software features. Let's start by looking at some information that G-Hub provides about the keyboard. As you can see, the estimated battery life is not static. This is due to the fact that the intensity of the RGB light can be changed. The battery life depends on the amount of light and how the LEDs are showing this light. You can imagine that setting the LEDs to breathing takes up less power than keeping them on all the time. This is reflected in the estimated battery life, ranging from 34 hours to over a thousand without any lights on. Unfortunately, the text on the keycaps is quite hard to read without any LED illuminating them. Therefore, we would recommend to always keep the light on, though keeping the light on at the lowest setting is enough and allows for a battery life of 160 hours. This means that you do only have to charge the keyboard once every two weeks, which seems reasonable to us. Concerning light sync, or the part of G-Hub that regulates the RGB LEDs on the keyboard, there are quite some options, as you can see right now. Best of all, in G-Hub, you can see directly what's happening on your keyboard, and vice versa. Concerning light sync, or the part of G-Hub that regulates the RGB LEDs on the keyboard, there are quite some options. Now we're going over some of these options and some of these may be less applicable to you than others. That's exactly why there are so many of them. These options range from fixed to breathing and there's even an audio visualizer. The latter option does not work correctly on keyboards from other brands and that's why we're especially excited to see it working on the Logitech G915. The audio visualizer shows the Fourier spectrum of the audio on the keyboard which could be useful for producers, but above all, it looks awesome. Take a look at it. You can of course change these groups of keys, if you would like that, but you can also change individual keys. You can just grab a color and click on a key and that will change the color of the key. You can also drag and drop the color to the key, that will change it as well. It just depends on how you would like to interact with the software. If you like animations on your keyboard, you can do that as well. There are approximately six animations, five. Uh, there's lightning, which shows a lightning bolt on your screen and the effect is random, but it disappears after 100 milliseconds. You can change that. So if you'd like to have it disappear after seven seconds, you can do that as well. There's the ocean wave, where you have more or less a V-shaped change of color. And there's the red, white, and blue the Dutch national colors. Not sure if that's actually uh, the reason why they're red, white and blue. Could be depending on the country. And there's vertical. 
and it changes the color in a vertical manner. When we go to the assignments of the keys, you can see that there are quite some options as well. So there are commands, keys, and then you can change it to basically every key. So if you want your entire keyboard to be an A, perfect, do it. There are actions, and especially the Discord actions are useful. You can mute yourself via a button press. You can deafen yourself, join a voice channel, or leave a voice channel. And for the streamer, Logitech has got you covered as well. There are quite some options in OBS that the keyboard can handle. For example, you can turn on streaming, turn off streaming, toggle recording, toggle a microphone mute. That could be useful. And there are quite some macros as well. I, I already made some macros. Um, you can name a macro. For example, macro yeah. And we press the enter. And then we can change the type whether we would like to have it repeat while holding or toggle or just make a sequence. For now we're going with the single use. So you can record your own macro like hello, welcome and then <laughs> We especially like the last one. Um, you can add text and emojis, actions, launch applications but we're not going to launch an application now. It would be kind of weird combined with the text. You can go to system and change lightning settings, audio settings, media settings. You can even increase the treble and bass. And that's that's interesting as well. We haven't seen that before. So credits to Logitech for, um, for, for these possibilities. And we already went over the actions. Let's try to add an emoji. So which emoji would we like? Well, the thumbs up is fine for now. So we press done press save and that's our macro let's give it a shot let's see if it's actually working but for that we need to attach it to a key so we dragged and dropped it to the G3 key and then we press the G3 key and it types it in itself so that's that's useful especially useful that it's not like a copy paste it's 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 played back the way it was recorded if you are an editor, for example, Logitech has got you covered as well, as it is possible to attach copy or paste to the G or F keys, depending on what Logitech calls them. This saves quite some time as you no longer have to press Ctrl C or Ctrl V. With a press on the game button, at the top of the keyboard some keys are disabled immediately. For example, the Windows keys. If you would like to disable more, or maybe even the WSAD keys, you can do so. Returning to the freestyle option, if you would like to give specific keys a specific color, this is the option for you. If you do not like to click on every single key and want to change a group of keys, you can also create a box and every key in that box will be recolored. This, this saves quite some time and we're happy that Logitech implemented this in their software. It makes it much more intuitive to use and it saves time, time you can use for gaming.